hello everyone welcome back to our channel thank you for always stopping by in today's video i want to share with us how you can stop bad dream using just one ingredient some of you always come to me solution empire i can't sleep at night each time i sleep i see dead people i see animals i see all manner of things i find it difficult to sleep by the grace of god after watching today's video you'll be able to sleep like a baby Remember that if you always have bad dreams, it can actually affect you both physically and spiritually. Sometimes the enemies use our dreams to attack our future. They use it to attack our spiritual life and our physical life. Take for instance, if you're the type that always see masquerade in the dream, or you see yourself always wearing school uniform, always in your father's compound that you left some years back, always seeing yourself in the village, always seeing yourself farming. All these things are signs of setback. And if you're not careful, physically it will start affecting you. You will see somebody that used to be rich, all of a sudden, the person cannot eat, cannot even eat a square meal. The person cannot pay his or her bills again. You will see the person selling his or her properties. These are the ways enemies use dreams to attack us. Sometimes they will come in form of giving you food in the dream. And once you eat that food, you've eaten your destiny. You'll find it difficult to eat in, eat in uh, real life. Things will become very, very uh, tough for you. you start experiencing all manner of setback, stagnation, hatred, rejection. If you have a moving business, you see your business will just crumble automatically. If you work, you see that your money will no longer be useful to you. You will make money you cannot account for it sometimes they will come with people's faces people you know maybe people that are supposed to help you physically you start fighting those people that they are witches and wizards without knowing that the enemies want to put asunder between you and that person so that in, when you come physically you say oh this man so yeah you want to exchange my destiny that is why he's helping me no that is what the enemies do through dreams so be careful whenever you're having a dream and bad dreams are not good at all in as much as dreams are good but you don't always pray for bad dreams because at times when you have bad dreams you don't pray over it it will manifest physically sometimes you see yourself you have an accident in the dream and maybe in the real in real life you didn't pray about it you just said it's a normal dream you see yourself having an accident a serious one at that or somebody dear to you will have an accident and may even die so whenever you have bad dreams please pray against it and let us not always wish to have bad dreams because some bad dreams may come in real life and damage our lives what do you do to prevent this kind of evil dreams for coming to uh, for happening and so that you don't even dream evil dreams again especially going back to your village, especially fetching firewood. These are terrible bad dreams. Sometimes you'll be in a forest, you cannot find your way out. In real life, you misplace something very, very important to you because when you find your place, yourself in a place, you cannot find your way out. That means you are going to lose something very dear to you. Sometimes human being, sometimes your documents, you lose your license, you lose something very, very important to you. So be careful of your dreams. What I want to share with us is a way to prevent these bad dreams from happening and for you not to even dream these kind of evil dreams again. The devils, the enemies cannot use bad dreams again to steal your glory in real life again. When you attack them spiritually, they cannot manifest physically. Remember the spiritual controls the physical. So if you're the type that always have bad dreams, please do this. Immediately you wake up or before you sleep, you do this, you will see how those evil dreams will just disappear from you. What is that you need to do? Get your lime. This is my lime. Lime is very, very powerful for this kind of recipe. Get your olive oil. Lime and olive oil. Get uh, olive oil, depending on the quantity you have. Get lime. Mix the two together. Just one lime or two, depending on the one you have. Mix it together with the olive oil. Whenever you have bad dream, maybe eating in the dream, 
or making out in the dream. If it's eating the dream, just take one spoon of it and drink. That will be the end of it. It's not going to manifest in physical rain. Then when you dream of making out in the dream, take that thing and apply it on top of your private side. Then at night, use this as your pomade. Then if you always see yourself going back to the village, when you wake up, rebuke that dream. Then you add this lemon and uh, this lime and olive oil. Add a spoon. Then you know it's mixed already. Add a spoon to your bathing water and rebuke every spirit of that bad dream, every manifestation of that bad dream and spirit and physical rain. Tell God Almighty that this evil dream will never come to pass in my life. I will never experience setback again in my life. If you're experiencing it again in your life, if you're experiencing it already, tell God that you cancel every spirit of setback and stagnation, that you stand as a child of God, that forward ever, backward never, that you will never go backwards again. From today henceforth, you will never experience stagnation again in your life. You will never experience going back again in your life. All through your life, you go forward, you will be the head and not the tail. Any demon that comes to manipulate you spiritually so that you will always experience setback and stagnation, that demon will never have effect or powers over me again as from today. Then you, you anoint yourself with that olive oil and that lime mixture. Okay, even your children, if they always dream bad dream or they always cry at odd hours, please apply this on their body before they sleep. You will see that that bad dream will disappear. And whenever you dream, it will not manifest in physical rain. Whenever you dream, sometimes you dream that you step on poison or somebody stabbed you in the dream. And when you wake up, that part of the body that they stabbed you will start paining you from there to turn to another thing. So let us learn how to prevent our dreams from manifesting in physical rain using these natural things I just mentioned. Your lime and your olive oil. And by the grace of God, no evil dream will prevail in your life again. No amount of attack that the enemy will come to you through dreams will manifest in physical realm. Sometimes you, they will shoot somebody you know in the, in the dream. In physical, the person will have a gunshot or the person will be stabbed or the person will have an accident just like that. Sometimes we will see the thing, but you cannot relate. You cannot even call the person and say, oh, I saw a bad dream about to pray. You must not tell some people about their, the dreams you have for them because sometimes you, they will end up having blood, uh, high blood pressure. So you pray and tell the person, let's be in prayers. I have a bad dream. Let's pray together. You, don't, you must not necessarily say it in a way that will scare the person away. Or you see yourself failing and write, writing an exam and failing. All these things are bad dreams. You will never prosper. That is the physical meaning of it. So whenever you see yourself having such dreams, Begin to rebuke it with this mixture and watch how God is going to restore that your glory they want to steal from you. Okay? Yes. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. And if you've not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Kindly hit the right subscribe button to make yourself a full member of this family. Follow me on Facebook as Solution Empire, on TikTok as Solution Empire 01, on YouTube as Solution Empire, so you learn everything you need to know about health, spiritualism, and beauty. Okay? Yes. I'll be cutting the video here. See you in my next one. Bye-bye.